guys, this is Jason. Today's date is October 8, 2012. Guys, I know I just made a previous earthquake video on the Mexican uh, 6.0 earthquake, but it looks like a 6.3 is hit over here in, next to Indonesia and uh, the Banda Sea, and there's a lot of earthquakes. The earthquake activity is picking up today. Um, as you guys were aware, I've made numerous videos showing over and over this is just another point that I can prove. Uh, we received a, um, I think it's a B-class solar flare today, and I'm going to show you that on um, solarweather.com. And I'm going to scroll through here and show you the earthquakes so far. That's just so far. And we're still, I mean, we're still getting hit by the CME, so it's only going to increase for the rest of the day. But again, I make these videos and prove this so many times just so people get off the harp theory, okay? I'm going to show you it coming straight from spaceweather.com that we're actually getting hit with a solar flare today so you guys can know that this earthquake and volcano activity has picked up due to this solar flare. All right, guys, I'm bringing you over to spaceweather.com, updated for Monday, October 8, 2012. I'm going to bring you down here and skip the Drachnoid Meteor Shower. It says CME hits Earth's magnetic field. As expected, a coronal mass ejection impact was weak. Nevertheless, solar wind conditions in the wake of the CME are favorable for polar geomagnetic activity. High latitude sky watchers should be alert for auroras, especially during the hours of local midnight. And uh, if, you, if I click on that, it'll show you the CME that launched off on October 5th, which was scheduled to impact Earth today, which is October 8th. And I'm going to show you uh, something else here. All right, guys, I'm bringing you over to NOAA Space Weather Prediction Center. Now, they're currently, this is updated for today, October 8, 2012. This is the space weather now. We're currently going through a G2 geomagnetic storm right now and R1 radio blackouts. So that's going on right now. We're going through a, geo, I mean a G2 magnetic storm. And uh, we're currently getting bombarded by this, so mass, I mean by this solar flare. I mean, it's not a massive solar flare, but it, we're still getting bombarded by it. And I mean, like I said, numerous times for the last year, over and over and over. Every time we get hit by a solar flare, the earthquake activity picks up and the volcano eruptions uh, worldwide pick up. All right, guys, I'm bringing you just, uh, an article from CNN, and uh, it's dated for today, October 8th. I know I just made a video about this about an hour ago, but just to get put it in line for the people that didn't see that video so I can kind of combine it all, the information in one video. Volcano, Indonesia, volcano spews ash live in northeast Indonesia. And this is dated for today, and this is an, a volcano that's that went off last night. Okay, like again, guys, every time I make a solar flare video of a CME impacting the Earth, you will notice on my Facebook and YouTube that at the same time when I make that video, is about the same time it's about to impact Earth, you'll notice the day of impact or the day after I make a lot of earthquake activity videos and a lot of volcano activity videos. So guys, it don't take a rocket scientist to understand that the solar flares is what's causing the earthquakes. The solar flares is what's causing the volcano eruptions. And the reason I keep repeating this is because I get so many emails and so many messages of people saying, do you think it could be the Navy sonar equipment or do you think it could be HARP? Guys, I've been saying this for a year. I make video after video after video after video after video after video proving this, showing you. Why do you keep asking me? I am showing you the proof. Okay, I just showed you we got hit by a solar flare. I'm showing you the volcanoes going off around the world. I'm showing you an uptick in earthquake activity today. I do this every time. So, guys, it, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to put two and two together and figure this out for yourself. Guys, God blessed you with the brain, so use it. You know, to open your eyes and understand what's going on. This is not man-made activity. This is not harp. This is natural. It's all a domino effect from the sun. When the sun launches uh, solar flares, whether they be weak or be strong, it still causes an uptick in earthquake activity, volcano activity. Thus, when we have a lot of earthquake activity and volcano activity, it releases a lot of methane gas in the oceans, the sea, and on land. 
will thus kill a lot of fish, and that's where we get a lot of mass animal fish deaths. The Hosea, Zechariah prophecy. So guys, this is not man-made. I mean, this is not man-made. This is, this is a chain reaction from the sun. I can't stress this over and over. I can prove this so many times, and I will still have people sending me message acting like they don't know what's going on. But anyways, guys, just keep an eye on today's activity. Watch the earthquakes, because I'm telling you, I'm showing you, there's going to be a lot, there's going to be more earthquakes happening around the world worldwide today. I wouldn't be surprised if a couple other volcanoes start blowing their top today. But anyways, guys, if you have any questions other than heart-related questions, just feel free to message me and just hit me up. Anyways, I hope you guys have a great week and all is well.